So hope that motivates you to today push through this workout and to keep up with your schedule and healthy eating habits and really rock out this program. So let's get into our warm up. We're gonna go down to the floor. We're gonna use a lot of the stability ball today, but if you don't have one, that's totally fine. I'll give you modifications uh, to, to do it without the stability balls as we go. So, ball to the side for now. We'll start in fifth position with our breathing. So arms are long at your side, neutral spine, and we're gonna take an inhale through the nose. Exhale down from the first lift, give you a little bit of resistance there to help engage the core. Inhale again, like a rib hit, you stand in all directions. Exhale it out through the first lift. And we'll do that one more time to really get into our breath and really get that Pilates breath into our body. And now that it's a little bit more natural in that Pilates breath, we're going to go into imprint. So on the exhales, we're tilting the pelvis without letting the neck or the chin come up. And then inhale back to neutral. Exhale to imprint the spine. And then inhaling it back to neutral. One more time. Exhale, imprint. Inhale back to neutral. And then let's exhale, imprint to hold here to go into our hip warm up. So we're going to inhale, bring the right leg up to tabletop. Exhale, we're going to extend it long and up to a 45 degree angle. Inhale back to tabletop. Exhale to extend long and up. Inhale it back. We've got that two more times. Exhale out by 45 degrees. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, lengthen. And 45 degrees. Release it down. And then inhaling left leg up to tabletop. We're going to exhale, extend it out and lift. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, extend it out and lift. Inhale, tabletop. So we're still strong in that inhale position. Navel to the floor. But we're nice and relaxed with good posture through the shoulders and the neck. Last one here, exhale that out, up, inhale, tabletop, exhale, release down. Now, going to the right side again, we're going to inhale, float that leg up, exhale, we're going to take it out to the side and then lengthen it, inhale, turn it back parallel and come to tabletop. So exhale out to the side and lengthen, it's still lateral, and then inhale, parallel and tabletop. So we're keeping that left hip down as we do this circle motion to really open up the hip. Good. Then we're First direction. So you're exhaling it long. Turn. Inhale to the side and that tabletop. Exhale long. Turn to the side and tabletop. Now, as you're making that motion out to the side, bending the knee, really watch that hip here. This is where the body really wants to tilt. So engage that core and keep it strong down in neutral position. And relax the right leg down. Let's pull the left leg up. Keep the imprint. We're going to exhale, open out to the side, lengthen, turn, and come to tabletop. Exhale out, lengthen, inhale, turn it back, and tabletop. Two more here. Again, each exhale as we warm up, you want to further engage that core. Make that mind-muscle connection even deeper with each exhale. Reverse it. Exhale out, turn, inhale back, and tabletop. Exhale, inhale, side, and Two more here. Watch that left, right side now. And releasing it down. Good. From an imprinted position, we're going to peel up and peel back down a little faster than we normally go. So, inhale to prepare. Exhale, our feet are parallel. We're pressing into those heels. We'll peel one for gray off the floor at a time. Inhale, we're rolling it back down. Navel scoops. When that tailbone touches your exhale, Each time, 
You don't want to force anything here though. So just go with what your body is telling you today. And we've got one more each side. I love that exhale and the rotation. You really feel the core brace and it's awesome. Good, so coming back to center, we're gonna grab that ball. So we're going to inhale the 
side. Two. Lots of rotation through the shoulders. Make sure you're not just moving the arms across the body. Your upper body is actually twisting and turning. There's four. Five. Keep that curl up in the upper body. Seven. Inhale, 
center. We're gonna go for five each side. Two more.
get to our next exercise. So we're gonna sit back up, come into a lunge position. Again, if you want to do this up against a wall or um, use a chair or something for balance, that's fine to start with. If you don't have a ball, you're just gonna put your foot up onto a chair or make a couch or something similar like that. A little step. So I can't talk and do this at the same time. Alrighty. So there we go. Either foot, place it up on the ball. Okay, and then find your balance. You're gonna roll. Release. So we're going to slow it down a little bit. 
One more each side. And then releasing down. Grab those hamstrings. Roll yourself up. We're going to do a spine twist. So there's a couple options for this. Legs ideally are going to be straight. You're going to flex those feet. And if you're going to center the rib cage right over the top of your hips. Okay, so right here. If you're tight in your hips and you're like this, you have two options. You can sit crisscross. Okay, to help you be more upright and neutral, or you can prop yourself up on a step or a chair, or even the stability ball will work. All right, so in any variation that you're doing, nothing from the hips down is going to move. Very stable. If all the motion is going to come from your waist, and your upper body is the only thing that's turning. So your arms are out, fingertips nice and long. You're going to exhale and pulse three times to the right. Trying to go a little bit further with each pulse. To the left. Inhaling to center. Make sure you're tall when you come through the center. And let's do one more each side. Nice and tall. And then releasing down. For the saw, you're going to spread your feet apart. And I'm going to go from the side here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So your arms are going to be out, palms forward. You're going to inhale to turn. See, I'll turn this way first. Turn either way. And then you're going to exhale, turn, flip that back hand over, and you're going to saw off your ankle with this forward hand. And then inhale, you're going to grow tall again, flip that back hand, exhale to the center. Other side. Inhale to twist the body. Exhale, flip that hand, saw off.